Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if the command prompt disappears after launching on your Windows 10 device. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we are going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Go ahead and left click on the file tab and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date that you're making the backup. Export range should be kept at all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, you would select file and then import. So pretty straightforward process there, guys. And now we're ready to begin. So double click on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Do the same thing for Microsoft. And same thing now for command processor. There should be an auto run folder in here. Go ahead and right click on that and select delete. Select yes, and now you should close out of here and restart your computer. Okay guys, once you've restarted, see if that has resolved the problem. If you're still experiencing a problem, you can try and run a system restore. So just open up the start menu, type in system restore. One of the best matches should come back with create a restore point. So we're just going to go ahead and open that up. And then we're going to go select the system restore button here. So if you don't have any restore points previously saved, that option won't be available to you. But we're going to go select next selecting our most recently created backup and then selecting next again and then selecting finish once started system restore cannot be interrupted do you want to continue make sure you save out of any open programs and applications before you select yes so we're going to go select that it should take a few minutes to run so just please be patient here
Okay guys, so it looks like it has completed successfully, so close out of here, and hopefully this should have been able to resolve your problem at this time. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.